So striding forward now, Nick Hundley. He'll get his go. side Fourth started in the inning, and Dan, the so far, they've been Nick. stifled offensively Hundley. since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away, but whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. First delivery to him on the way. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. And that's in there for his strike one and one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Here now the 2-2. Grounded back up the middle. On to first is Escobar, one away. Now battle. So the base Number is empty three, here two. with one away. And digging in now, Ramon Laureano. Here comes the first pitch takes this the other way to right and that's in for a base hit his second in as many trips to the plate number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with oh, one away open. don't Go sleep on the bottom of the order right there he broke out all ambush oh, tactics first pitch fastball middle in and he's able to drive that for a nice single here's Robbie Grossman he went down on strikes last time up yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Here comes the first pitch. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. Runner at first here with one away in a 2-2 ball game. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Steal, there steal. goes the runner. Hit on the ground out for short. Backhanded. On to Davis at first, and there are two away. Matt at second here with two away. And up next, the power-hitting third baseman, Matt Chapman. Cobb comes set. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one taken just off the inside. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. So a two-run homer down the line in left. And it gives the A's a four-to-two lead. Yeah, he had the right idea trying to bust him inside, but that pitch caught too much of the plate, and he took it deep for a two-run homer. That was a nice swing of the bat. Now back. Into the box now, the Matt base Olson. Base. As he'll go after the first pitch oh, and bounce there. it into foul territory. 0 oh, for 2 for him to this point. hit to right.
And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Chris Davis. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First delivery to him on the way. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1 0. Looks like a lefty and a right hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Both teams with six hits so far. Fastball not close and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Wow it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Line drive to left. A dive but it's off his glove. Boy, this has been a tough one for him so far, d -Row. Seventh now hit of the game already. The right They're really making Deep him work. Man. Yeah, 100%, hey, Dan. As Dustin Pedroia says, it's a laser show out there. In now, Stephen Piscotti, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's one for two in this one. The 0 and 1 delivery. Line to the right side. And a little self preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. But the athletic strike for two, both coming on this two run home run. Through five innings. It's now four to two, Oakland. Here's Mark Trumbo now. He'll start things out now in the top the half of the sixth. Things not looking very good so far Mark. in this one, but we're still Trumbo. in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. In there, strike one. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike, too. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really thing. good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Standing in now, Chris Davis. He'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. 1 for 2 in the ball game thus far. The wind up and the 0 1. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Here it comes on nothing and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. He's really on a roll now right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back -back strikeouts Rio. to wrap up the last Rui. inning, and now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
Curveball oh, just misses apparently. One and zero. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. We're in the sixth inning now of a four to two ball game. Fly ball into straightaway left. Moving under it, Grossman makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They trail it here four to two. Pedro Arajo enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the now sixth. Pitching for the Orioles, number 38, Pedro Arajo. Ready once again, Jurickson Profar will do battle with a new arm out there in their half of the sixth. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Rabal. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Two balls and a strike to count. The 2 1. Fouled off. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. That was a great battle right there. Oh, he tried to get him to chase, but he laid off stop. some really tough Mark pitches in. and got a walk. Got to tip Simming the cap in. to the batter that time. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And a fastball is in there for strike one. And now a right hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Profar on at first, nobody out. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. away hoping to send him packing pitch on its way line drive to center field Mullins is there and he has it for the first out the catcher number three Nick Hundley Ready for another shot now, Nick Hundley. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. And one count and the pitch. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. As a hitter, you know the pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees in a double play situation. So making him get a pitch up and actually in the zone is a must. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole Number lot to 22. say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode.
Stepping in now, Ramon Laureano. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. It was a single for him in his last at bat. The 1 0 pitch. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Two out with the man at first. Reached for and popped into the air back behind second. And VR will look this one in to retire the side. One left for Oakland, but they still lead this one four to two. Back here at the Coliseum in Oakland. The A's are on top in this one as we get set for the seventh, but before it gets underway, let's take a look at our game summary to this point. Your Liam Hendricks lead. is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 16, Liam Hendricks. Digging in once again, Joey Rickard. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Hey, back when I first broke into the big leagues, a lot of the pitchers wanted to work east to west. Now, with such an uptick in velocity, these guys are working north-south. That's just a great elevated fastball with serious velocity on it. The 1-1 home is in there for strike number two. Towards second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter, number one. Now at the plate, I'll we'll see this Escobar in previous meetings Escobar. with Liam Hendricks. It's a big enough sample size, but he's just one for 14. First pitch coming, here it is. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Swung on and missed. One and one. The one one. Misses for the second ball. That's back to back breaking balls away. But now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again. So your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. Hey. Two and two. I got the count. Two and two. Yeah. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Up next for me, Warriors. check swings are right the there next to bang bang yeah. place at first Let's as go. the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Into the box now, Chance Cisco, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Well hit to right, but foul. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4-2 our score. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss and a ball way outside the strike zone. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Still down by a count of four to two. Miguel Castro gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Miguel Castro. Castro. 
So the lineup flips over and digging in Robbie Grossman. He was retired no via the ground ball Robbie last time up. Grossman. First pitch of the at bat. The Hung play. the slider there, but laid ball off ball for ball play. one. Two and zero oh, the count to the A's left fielder. Right side, but it's well foul. The two one. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The two two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seven. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. It just didn't third tempt third him third enough third. to get a good swing. Matt. A good job of pitch Chuck recognition Matt. and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Matt Chapman will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's two for four. A ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. It's a two run shot to straight away left his second home run of the game as they open it up to six to two now. That one definitely seems worth taking a look at with show track. It wasn't a particularly deep home run but as you can see he connected pretty well 110 miles an hour off the bat and it got out of here in a hurry. Into the box, the Matt Olson. Matt. As he'll look at a slider that runs Olson. in too far for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0 is laid off for ball two. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Now the 2-0 home is taken strike one. Two balls, one strike, the count. No outs, nobody on. Two one pitches, a sinker swung on and missed. Two and two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east west, but that one right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. Again, another foul ball. The two two one more time. Ball three. Three and two now. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Number two. 
designated hitter, Chris Davis. Chris Davis will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Pitch on the way. The and that misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Still only one out in the inning. Aye. Front door with the slider eclipsed the zone for a called strike. No Two offer balls. on that one. one. Two balls and a strike. A slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. The three one coming to Davis. Taken, but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. Three and two. in here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Up next Might have been just out of the zone, the right but field. not by much. Defense. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that Got pitch, it. so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. Standing in now, Stephen Piscotti as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. His prior history in this matchup, just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Davis stands at first with one out. Hey. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Hey, that's obviously the game plan against this guy. Bury it in on his hands. He finds himself down 0 2 now. He doesn't know if he's coming back in there or going breaking stuff down the way. And it's fouled away. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Now batting, the second baseman, Jurickson. So two are gone now in the oh, Oakland oh. half of the seventh, and Jurickson Profar will be the next to bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way, and he got him out in front that time. Strike one. A runner on first with two away. The plate, one ball, one strike. Two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two sinks no below the knees, taken for a ball. Full count now, three and two. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. But the athletic strike for two, both coming on this two run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the A's six and the Orioles two. Ladies Ryan Buchter has been summoned from please. the bullpen as he'll do so now, to start the eighth. The eighth. Number 52, Ryan Buchter. 
Cedric Mullins will be the first one to Maybe greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right three. side of the plate here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. The 1 2 is looked at for ball number two. Here now the 2 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Stepping in now, Jonathan Villar. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. So far, two for three in this one. Oh and one, here it comes. Ball one. One one is taken for ball two. Now the two one takes a pass and misses that strike two. One out, nobody on. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. 3-2 pitch. Full count still. Another full count offering on its way. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So digging in now, Trey Mancini, two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. From the stretch. Way behind that pitch. It's 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Line toward the alley in left center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. He doubled up on the heater right there. First one, he blew right by him. Second one, timing was on point, and he was able to get a hit.
Into the box now. Mark Trumbo popped him up. Olsen moving to his left. He makes the play, and that will end the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Tanner Scott please. is on to pitch out now of the bullpen in the ball bottom ball. half of the eighth. Number 66, Tanner Scott. At the plate, Marcus Semyon. He lined yeah, out in it. his last trip, so That's looking for stop. better fortunes here. Marcus. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating yeah. when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog Here's back that. to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Strike one to start the at-bat. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And a one pitch one. in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One and one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Three and one to him now. Three and one pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. The catcher, number three, Nick. Hundley. Ready for another chance, Nick Hundley. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lays off 1 and 0. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen now as they've got a left hander up and throwing. Simeon aboard here at first with nobody out. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. You know, he fell behind 2-0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball middle of the zone. Well hit to right, but no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitor's bullpen. Here now the 2-2 is laid off and the count runs full. Now the three and two pitch out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Uh oh, he missed it. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. And he just blasts this thing now down the it. left field line. I thought it might bend foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good looking swing. In now, Ramon Laureano. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Fly ball out toward right field. Rickards under it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 7-2 ball game. 
stepping in. Robbie Grossman. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Grossman. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit well on the ground to first. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one now away. Batted. Third baseman. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Matt Chapman. Two hits in four attempts to this point. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. Runners are at first and third, one away. Well hit to right, but that's a foul ball. The one two is swung on and missed, strike three. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. I might have now been sitting it. on an off-speed pitch, but instead man. he gets the fastball way late. Had no oh, chance man. to put that ball in play. Into the box, Matt Olson. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Down and away, ball one. Runners on first and third, two away. Swung on and missed. One and two now. That straight smoke at 99, guys. It's almost unfair. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. A's have to settle for just the one. We've played eight full. It's the A's seven and the Orioles two. Your Jerry Blevins please. comes on from now the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of Number the ninth. 13. Jerry. Jerry. Stepping in, Chris Davis. The head-to-head -head numbers against Jerry Blevins. He's just two for nine. 19. Chris Davis. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Blevins is a guy known for his lights-out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls, and that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Ready with the 2 0. 3 and 0. Here it is, the 3 0. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Well, that is definitely the not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a Three walk, but to do it on four Three. pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. 
Digging in now, Rio Ruiz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball one. This is where he might need a mound visit, whether it be from the shortstop, his pitching coach, or the catcher. These last couple of pitches have certainly gotten away from him. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Davis gets his lead at first, nobody out. Nope. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Ah. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone, or you're going to ground into a double play. Here now the 2-2. Will not catch the zone, ball three. Joey Rickard waits on deck. A runner at first with no outs here. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to up bend a lot by the time it got there, the right and it had fallen completely out Joey. of the zone. Not much Richard. you can do with that pitch. That'll bring in Joey Rickard. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the 1-0. And that's inside and a bit low anyways. It's 2-0. Runners on first with one down. Two balls and a strike. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. All even now, two and two. It's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt, that's the danger. You have to trust your catcher, but this one skips away, and the open base takes the double opportunity away with it. Might prove to be costly. Struck him out. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Into the box now, Alcides Escobar. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Hey, when one of your better pitches is the straight changeup, you can't be afraid to throw it at any count and at any time. And, hey, first pitch, if they're going to take it for strike one, they're going to give it to you. Go ahead and throw it. 0-1, oh here it comes. And he misses with it, 1-1. One One pitch is a curveball just off the black. Two and one now. Runner in scoring position at second with two down.
And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Full count to Alcides Escobar. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. Baltimore down to their final strike. Bounce to first. Olsen scoops it up and a step on first for the out and the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about and they definitely did that right here. Coming through with a big win at home. And this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. The Oakland A's used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Mike Fires is credited with the win. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody.